Hello everyone, welcome to the website for UW Oshkosh Libraries. As CAP students, you have access to all of the articles and books that our on-campus students use. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through some of the places you can look on our website to find research for your informative speeches. This is the homepage for UW Oshkosh Libraries. You can get here by using the URL uwash.edu slash library or by typing UW Oshkosh Libraries or Polk Library in Google. Let's take a quick tour of the areas of the website that will be helpful to you. Here is the Search at UW tool on our homepage. If it is not showing up on your computer or mobile device, you may have to click the Find tab of our navigational menu. You can use Search at UW to search UWO Libraries materials and materials held throughout the UW system. You can search for articles, books and ebooks, videos, and more. Since you are CAP students, you probably only want to access our online materials, so there are a few things you can do to adjust your results. First, type your keywords into the search box. When conducting academic research, you'll get more relevant results if you type in a few important keywords rather than typing a question. After you've put in your keywords, select one of the filters in the drop-down menu on the right. If you leave this menu to everything, you will have a lot more content to look through and it won't be very relevant to what you're trying to find. So I'll do a sample search. Let's say I'm writing a speech for my class about dress codes. First, I'll put the keywords dress code in the search box. I want articles, so I'll select articles in the drop-down menu on the right. Then I'll click search. Now, these results may work for me, but take a look at the filters on the left to see if I can narrow them down further. If I'm looking specifically for peer-reviewed articles, I can choose this filter. Peer-reviewed articles are academic articles that have been thoroughly evaluated for quality. If you'd like more information about the peer review process and what these types of articles are, check out our CAP tutorial video on the topic. They can be a little difficult to read, so check with your professor if this is the type of article you should be looking for. This filter will get rid of any results from magazines or newspapers, so keep that in mind. Under resource type, I can specify which type of article I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for a newspaper article. I can also change the creation date if I wanted to find more recent articles. There are several other filters that you can use, including things like topic, language, and others. Now, looking through my results, I can tell that many of them aren't really relevant to my search, even after using the filters. I might need to adjust my keywords. Since I'm specifically looking for high school dress codes, I'm going to add and high school to my search. Using and in between the two phrases indicates that I want articles with both phrases. Using search operators like and, or, and not can be very helpful in your search. Once you've found an article you like, click the title. If you scroll down, you'll see which databases the article is available in. Choose any and click the blue link. At this point, since you're off campus, you will need to log in with your NetID and password. If you don't know your NetID and password, contact our IT Help Desk at 920-424-3020. From here, I suggest you download the article or save the permalink. Do not save the website address at the top as that may be session specific and will stop working when you close the tab or browser window. If you are having trouble finding results, you can also try our advanced search option in Search at UW. Here, we can add a synonym such as secondary school using the OR operator. We can also use quotation marks around our phrases so that results will show these phrases exactly as written. If you're searching for other types of materials such as ebooks or videos, you can also use Search at UW. For both ebooks and videos, put in your keywords the same as before, but choose Books and Media UW Oshkosh Libraries in the drop down menu. For both, choose Online Resources on the filter on the left. If you're looking for ebooks, choose Books, 
For videos, choose videos. Search at UW can be a great tool, but it's not what I would recommend starting with for your informative speeches. Now I'm going to show you some of the specific databases where you may want to start your search. If you're unfamiliar, library databases are collections of academic articles, usually peer-reviewed articles, although not always. Databases usually search articles within specific subject areas like nursing, education, psychology, etc., although I will be showing you a few that cover multiple subject areas. If you would like to search our subject-specific databases, check out our subject guides to figure out which ones would be best. First, let's look at Academic Search Complete. You might be familiar with this database if you've used Academic Search Premier in your school. They are very similar, but Academic Search Complete has more articles than the other. To get there from our website, locate the Databases icon on the website and hover over it. Academic Search Complete is the second option. If you haven't signed in already or it's been a longer time since you've signed in, you will be prompted again to log in with your Net ID and password. Academic Search Complete is a multidisciplinary database that is a great starting point for all of your research. First, input your keywords. Try to keep different concepts in different boxes. For example, I can put dress code in one box and high school in the second. Once I click search, I'll see articles and, depending on the topic, videos that may be relevant. On the left, you'll see filters that you can use, such as peer-reviewed or publication date. You can also identify whether you would like certain types of results, such as newspaper or magazine articles. Once you find an article you like, click on the title. Here you can see more information about it, usually including the abstract, which is like a summary of the article. From this page, you'll need to locate the link to download the full text of the article, which is usually by a PDF or HTML icon. One small thing, make sure that if you want to save the article that you, again, don't use the URL at the top. That URL is session specific. If you want to save a link, find the permalink on the right here. Also, some databases have a citation option where they will create an automatic citation of the resource for you. You'll find it on the right here. You can select which citation style you're using and copy and paste. Okay, the next database I want to talk about is CQ Researcher. This is another great starting point for your speeches as it has short or in-depth reports about issues of the day. To find this one, you'll have to either scroll down on the list of databases or you can actually click the Databases button and find the databases that start with C. The best way to find a topic is to browse topics and choose the overall subject that your topic may fall under. You can try searching for a topic in the search bar, but it doesn't usually work very well. This website covers a lot, but it doesn't have everything. For example, it doesn't cover dress codes like my original examples. Keep that in mind when you try finding your topic here. Let's look at a different topic that's probably on everyone's mind these days, online education. I'll choose education as the topic. And when I scroll down, I see the list of options that pop up. Online education is around the middle. Now, you can see there isn't really an option that talks about online education as a whole, but there is one about digital education or higher education during COVID. These may not be exactly what I'm looking for, but I can try them to see if there's any useful information. Before I click on something, I want to point out the two types of reports. For some of the topics, you'll see only a short report like this one, which gives you a quick overview of the topic, including 
a chronology or a timeline at the end. If you choose one of the topics that doesn't have that short report icon, you'll get a lot more information. You'll still get the overview and the chronology, but you can see from the menu that you have a lot of other choices, including a pro and con section with expert opinions on both sides, a bibliography that may provide further reading, both books and articles, and many other things. Those are the two databases that I would suggest you start with. Then you might want to try Search UW using the tips I've already showed you. If you're having trouble finding articles, please try our 24-7 chat help, which will connect you to librarians who can assist. You can also email me at ammonsj at uwash.edu with any questions about finding articles or using our resources. Good luck!